I think this is a no. What do you think? I was saving this, like, and I thought that this fit. It's pretty tight. Now, I actually get this question from people all the time. What do I do with clothes that don't actually fit now, but I hope will fit one day? As I try on my pile of clothes here, let's go through the criteria. And later on, we are going to get into a mind-blowing tip about shoes. Yeah, I think this is a no. Why is it that you are trying to change your body. Now, I know a lot of people, they're talking about body positivity, and you know what? If you are a certain size and you are happy being that size, if you are like, I recognize there are some risk factors. Remember, I'm a nurse, emergency nurse. I've been part of a lot of like cardiac arrests and things like that. People who have cardiac issues, blood flow issues. I get that you might be like, I actually wanna change that for that reason. Okay, that is perfectly valid. I'm not telling you what you should do. But if you're like, actually, like I'm pretty happy with my body, it's just that I want to fit those clothes. Is that a realistic thing to keep those clothes even though you're pretty happy with your body? And the other thing is to recognize that our body composition changes, things move around. Certain things move down, okay, gravity is taking its toll on a lot of different body parts, okay? And so like, I have hips, I'm a curvy hippie lady. So one of the things I have been doing is working out lately. And the main reason for this is actually because my grandpa has dementia. As a nurse, I've worked with a ton of people with dementia and I know it's something that I would like to postpone as long as possible. So I work out um, probably about five or six days a week right now. And I have actually been shedding a few inches which is certainly nice, but also a reason why I am actually going to keep some of the clothes that I'm very close to fitting into, but ones that I know I will like when I do fit into them better. I'm still subject to things changing as I get older. Maybe when you do fit it, if you are trying to change it, then you wouldn't actually like how it fits in the first place. And I am wearing the spandex, which makes it easier to pull things down. Just doesn't necessarily make it easier to like comfortably like stand or sit or like walk, okay? And this is like pinching me as I try to do it up. I think this is a no. What do you think? This dress I wore to my brother's wedding. I was nursing my child who is now 15, so. I've had it for a while. Now, the next question, ask yourself, are you working to change your body composition? And there's nothing wrong if you're not. If you are going for walks every day and if you are like committed and you're like eating differently and you're wanting, you need to want to make those changes, then you need to go ahead and maybe save those clothes if you want to. If you don't, declutter them. If you're not trying to make that change and that's perfectly fine, don't worry about it. And the next part of that question is how long have you been trying? If you've been trying for a few years, I would invite you to reevaluate what you're doing if you truly are wanting to change your size, which is totally up to you. But if you're like, you know what, I've been trying for 10 years to fit into these clothes, it could be that like we talked about body composition changes, it might not happen. The other question to ask yourself is like, how many sizes difference is it? Is it like multiple sizes? Because if it is, you might just want to be like, eh. Remember, you might actually not want to wear those clothes in the long run, like I said. Some styles change. Some things are not gonna fit <laughs> too tight. Oh my gosh. Oh. Are you holding on to it as a sentimental impulse. Are you saving something because you remember wearing it somewhere and you're like, it was so great. Or you remember like a certain time, maybe it's from when your kids were little and you really appreciate it. I had to put this one on just because it's a win. <laughs> it's stretchy. And I think this could fit me many, many sizes, which is good. But remember, when we're holding on to things for sentimental reasons, if they don't fit us and we just have them in the closet, hoping that they're going to fit us one day, that is going to definitely impact you in the long run. It's going to add to clutter. It's gonna stress you out. You're gonna look at it and it will probably make you feel bad if you are wishing you were a different size. So I suggest decluttering things that you're holding on to sentimental reasons, especially if all of the other questions I ask don't pass, for example, okay? 
Okay, now before I go on, I wanna share that recently I was helping my kids to declutter their own clothes. I couldn't help but just be looking at this entertainment unit bookshelf and being like, ugh. So I hopped on a Skillshare and I jumped on a learning path all about styling your home space. So it starts out with Emily Henderson taking me through the whole process to style your home. Rules, tips and trends, how to get creative with your home. I learned about personal style and how to decorate different styles. And that's handy because I am not good at styling. There was also another super cool lesson about how to design print and sew cushions, which I could really use. And this woman, she likes things to be cozy, which I find so relatable. And then there was a section all about how to crochet a plant cover and one all about how to choose the right plants for your space and what kind of plants to choose. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with a wide variety of topics, including cooking, crafting, painting, and more. So the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Back to decluttering clothes. The frizz is so bad. It's so bad. The doesn't just fit for dresses. Let me tell you, these shorts. Oh my gosh. Oh. And yeah, I'm putting them on over other shorts. Believe it or not, that's actually probably helping. I can't do these up. I cannot. I mean, if I put this on, the button would probably pop. Oh, here's the thing. This is what I wear most of the time. So I probably don't need all of those dresses anyway. I probably need only a few. And it's probably going to be the two that are actually stretchy and forgiving. I like that kind. Okay, this one is actually big, um, which is okay. But the, I, 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 this never fit me. I bought it. Um, I think it's like the end of summer and then didn't even try it on until the next spring and it is just big and it just does not fit my stature. If I was a tall, lean, gorgeous European woman, this would look great. The problem is I am five foot one and I feel like I look like a kindergartner and it's really big. First of all, I didn't know I had this, but I was like, I paid money for this and I never ever wore it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna let it sit in my closet. No, this is going to be decluttered. And, and yes, like I guess it does fit me, but it doesn't really fit me, right? Right. When I first started working as a wound care nurse, one of the nurses who I was working with said, make sure you ask people what their shoe size is if it is the same as when they were 20 or when they were in their teens. Interesting story because I used to be a six and a half, maybe a seven when I was in my teens and my 20s. As we get older, the bones in our feet spread out. So even after a couple of pregnancies, my feet had grown. So now at the age of 43, I'm now a size eight. So when you are going through your shoes, I invite you to really take a thought and say, are these actually fitting me? Are these too tight? Because a lot of people, especially as people we get older, we get a lot of rubbing in our toes and other spots of our feet, and we can actually develop some wounds that can be pretty hard to heal. So if you are still wearing the same shoe size as you did when you were young, whether or not you've had pregnancies, maybe reevaluate if you might need to move up a size. When we are decluttering our clothes, one of the hardest things to deal with is the sentimental things. And we might end up keeping things that we really in the long run don't want to and they're not serving us. Check out this video here all about Swedish death cleaning because there are many reasons why you should declutter things, not just so that you leave things to your departed, leave less things to your departed, but also for yourself too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope something great happens for you today and I'll see you next time. Bye.